you boys and girls and also for the author of the book that I'm going to read today coming to us all the way from Greece. Let's say hi to her, Agatha Rhodi Diganis. That's hello in Greek. And let's yay, let's get right to the book. It is called Emily is Impressed. Are you boys and girls ready? Yay! Do I hear those tears? Here we go. My name is Amelie, and I have news to tell you. Let me tell you how much fun I have when I spend my days on Granny's farm. I am so impressed. Fat hens, baby chicks, roosters, and little pigs are dancing, yay, dancing all around. They come up to greet me, but I run, run like this, and I shout. Oh no, they want to pinch, pinch, pinch me. So Granny, save me please before they reach me. What's the problem, sweetie, Granny says. You always boo at them. Ha, oh, that's funny. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't want you to worry. They shout so loud. Forget it now and come with me. It's time for yummy, yummy. What does that mean? Strawberry ice cream. Well, Come, Granny, come. Look at the pomegranates, trees in the field. They're so full of that reddish fruit. And they shine bright like silver in the sun. And their leaves glimmer in the light. Oh, I am so impressed, shouted Emily. I look around the fence like this. She looks around and I see birds flying over my head. Oh, what beautiful colors they have. Listen to them how they chirp, chirp, chirp. And you, sweetie bee, you fly around and gently brush against the rosewoods. You work so hard all day. I am so impressed, said Emily. Granny, Granny, look, a hedgehog can't move. He's curled up into a little ball. But let me check on you, my friend, and offer you a little help. I love your prickly little spikes, and I want to touch them. They're so fancy. I am so impressed, said Emily. Granny's pink cupcakes are so unique. Their color is like pink rosebuds out in the yard. I want to hug them all before they enjoy a splash of water that they need to grow. Oh, I am so impressed. <sighs> I'm tired, it's time for a break. Let's taste Granny's crunchy biscuit cake. Wow, it melts in my mouth, it's so yummy, yummy. Granny, Granny, sparrows and finches are taking the crumbs to feed the baby birds. How sweet, in their nests. Oh, I'm so impressed seeing that, said Emily. And now, guess what? It's time to dig in the garden. Check the tomatoes, the eggplants, and the green peppers. And so many ladybirds up in the air. Smell the basil, mmm, and the rosemary. That smells yummy. I take my digging spade, said Emily, and the garden rake. Here I come, blooming garden. Oh, I am so impressed. In the keepsake box, there are Granny's gifts. Oh, what are they? They're full of village smells, sugary sprinkled cookies and basil twigs, a bunch of carnations and jasmine blossoms. How pretty! Lemon buds and orange leaves. A jar of Granny's favorite cherry jam, pieces of spinach pie, yummy, yummy, with herbs and crispy, crunch, 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 crispy dough. I always take my village with me, the sky's blue light with the rainbow hues that always make me say, wow, that's why I am so impressed. The end. And wow, we are all definitely very impressed with Emily is impressed. Yay! Let's say a special thank you to Agatha Rodi. Let's say it in Greek. Efharisto para poli for reaching out to us with this beautiful, beautiful book. Well, boys and girls, applause! Oh, here they are. There's our cheers. There it is. Cheers, cheers. Saying goodbye for now. You
continue to be the good little boys and girls that I know you are. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.